Hey, the freaking van's catching, catching me. I know, let's go. Come on. In this test we have two identical prime trucks and prime trailers, fully loaded. The only difference is we have wide base on one tractor and duals on the other. I've always known and we've always known that the that the X1 uh, Super Singles has a less rolling resistance than a set of duals does. What I didn't know was exactly how much. Um, the test drive that I went on, I was in the truck outfitted with duals. The Super Single truck went past us and it actually got almost four, four full truck links out in front of us. It was uh, 271 feet further is how far it rolled from a 35 mile an hour speed. There's no way that you can argue with what happened right here today. I mean, it's obvious time after time after time, they went around the track three times and all three times they had the exact same outcome. So the super singles um, do have less resistance. They do go further uh, coasting. All we did was isolate a change in the drive tire. Same steer, same trailer tires, different drives truck with the X1 is going to be economically more fuel efficient. We're going to go out there with both trucks. We're going to run them kind of nose to tail. Obviously, I'm going to have a little bit of a gap for, for safety reasons, but uh, we'll run them nose to tail and then we'll observe how they behave, how they drive at the limit. He had to work a lot harder to keep that truck under control with the duels. He was like doing it with one hand like it's no big deal. Definitely a lot smoother on the white base and you don't have to oversteer as much as opposed to the duels. The gentleman that was driving the truck with the duels, he was working he was working a lot to keep that truck under control. There was a lot of steering wheel action. You know, it just keep he was constantly moving. The guy that was driving with the, with the white base tires with the X1s he, I mean, he literally could have just sat there with one finger on the steering wheel. I mean, he kept it under control. It was very, very easy. You know, if you have a tire that has a broad peak like that, and it's very easy to drive, if you have to meet other criteria like rolling resistance or grip levels, you have a little more opportunity to tweak that tire and meet other targets. You're going to go around in a counterclockwise fashion. Once you get to the point where you're feeling the vehicle start to maybe lose a little bit of grip, push it a little harder too. We want you to see exactly how it behaves right at the grip limit, but also just a little bit beyond. The thing I always like to also point out is how quickly that one breaks away. So you know when when the front wheel, when the one with the worn fronts, you start feeling it right away. We had one set up with the wide base tires, the X1s from Michelin, on the truck and the trailer, and then the other truck was set up with the same tires, except duals, on the truck and the trailer. The truck that had the duals on it. I didn't really feel that comfortable pushing it. You know, that you know, they told us how fast that we could drive out here and be safe in the curves. I was going well underneath that speed, 10, 15 miles an hour underneath, as a matter of fact, because I just didn't feel comfortable going that fast. Uh, the truck with the super singles, it felt a lot more stable. Um, it didn't it didn't have as much of a jerky feel to it, it rode smoother. The white base uh, tires a little smoother ride and turning as well. Um, on the duels, I did feel the weight difference, more weight on the truck. As we came out of corners, the, the duels, there was resistance there. As you came around and things started straightening out, it felt like it was trying to slow the truck down, which I never noticed with the wide base tires. 
It was actually a really good, I, I never would have thought that difference between the two. You do see in some higher speed corners if you're really pushing it. The, for me, the, the duels tend to just push and not track as well through the corner. Duels are going to have a tendency to roll a little bit more, but with that flatter contact patch in the Impenacoil, the X1 is going to be more flat as it goes through the curve. Uh, we are going to run this demonstration at 50 miles an hour. That is the, the best speed for these two trucks and these tires right now, and that is also the minimum speed uh, required by the SAE to be considered acceptable. So the first maneuver is when you, you're going to enter a series of cones, and once that series of cones ends, you're going to maneuver one lane over, enter the next series of cones, and once that lane ends, you're going to maneuver back. When I drove the wide base tire, it responded exactly the, I had to change lanes to the left and change lanes right back to the right at 50 miles an hour. It did exactly what I wanted it to do, exactly what I expected it to do. The dually tires, it's, it was almost as though the tires were liquid and they were sloshing. It would go out and it would exaggerate it and then it would come back to the, and exaggerate it in the other direction. With the duels, you, you, you had to work. I mean, you were having to keep a tight grip on that steering wheel. He was having to physically, it was, it was almost like you were making that truck move over. Whenever it came to the super singles, it, it just glided over. It was nice and smooth. Um, it quite honestly, it was almost like driving a car through the, the left, right lane change. And the white base was a lot smoother, you know, going from the left to the right, as opposed to the duels. You felt that it was a little harder to get to the right than back to the left. absolute care that they take in manufacturing each and every single tire and being a female out on the road um, tire failure could be catastrophic. Getting to see the X1 tire actually being built you know it's, it's what I base my business on and quite honestly I put my life in the hands of them tires you know every single day.